Hmm. It is this hype. Hi, sir. Can I help you? Is this hype? I'm looking to push P, young man. Can you help me? I'm trying to learn this internet culture stuff. Okay, sir. Well, what, what's your size? Let's start with that. I'm not actually sure. My wife, Linda, was usually in charge of that sort of thing. And I'd call her now, but she won't answer her phone. It's, it's actually a funny story. I uh, Okay, uh, I can just check your shoe for your size. I forgot to put those on before leaving the house. Women can't live with them. Can't live without the journey home's going to be much better after I buy these shoes, let me tell you. I'll just get the Brannock machine. What's that? It's that device that checks your shoe size. One sec. Hmm. Brannock machine. I could do a history lesson on that. History lesson? Yes, I do history lessons on the internet. Would you subscribe? Nobody wants to subscribe. Uh, if I could just get your foot... Uh, no, 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 you can leave your sock on. Too late, it's off now. All right. Oh, somebody's got warm hands. Okay. Uh, this little piggy went to the market. You could, you could just hold these and again. this, I, say uh, it with me, please. this little piggy... Sir! Went... I need you to stop. All right. I like... Shoes. 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 Oh my God. Shoes. What's that person Let's doing over there? Let's get some And shoes. that one. These are the top three sneaker bots that you want to use when you start sneaker botting. Why, why are they doing that? They're making TikTok videos. TikTok? Yeah, it's a video app. Where did it come from? I don't know. So, there's history that needs to be known. What? There's no time to explain! So like this video, follow the page for more content just like this. To historical. I'm your host, Bradbury Strumwell. TikTok is a video sharing media network created in China. The app hosts videos that range from three seconds to one minute and can feature anything from comedy skits, memes, dance routines, makeover tutorials, workout videos, grooming minors, or art time lapses. Whatever you can think of, you can do it on the TikTok. Are you actually doing a lesson about TikTok? Yes. There is already an internet historian. I can be two things. TikTok was released in some parts of the world in 2017 to an eventual worldwide release in 2018 after merging with Musical.ly. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm pronouncing that wrong. Musical.ly was a popular app that was predominantly used by young children to post videos of themselves lip-syncing popular songs and very little else. After its shutdown, there was a mass influx of these creators to TikTok on its inception, leaving the app's general reputation being that of cringe. But what is cringe? Cringe originates from the Dutch Germanic kringen, meaning to heel over, to bend, yield, or fall in battle. To cringe, to bend one's head and body in fear or apprehension, or in a servile manner. I cringe so hard that I prolapsed. To be cringe, when someone acts or is so embarrassing or awkward, it makes you feel extremely ashamed and or embarrassed. That guy was so cringy the way he came up and asked you out, Jessica. And he was using all of those techniques from the 2005 Neil Strauss book of the game. You know how cringy it was, Jessica? I prolapsed. In August 7, 2018, the subreddit TikTok Cringe was established by user Awake as a repository for all the TikToks users could find of cringy kids spazzing out. From the strange behaviors of furries and turbo virgins to just making fun of the mentally ill. Wake me up! Before you go, 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 me, me, hanging on the line with Jojo. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't need me dancing tonight. Oh, oh, it's Wham. That's a good song. It wasn't long before the TikTok symbiotic culture developed and trends went from things such as these low effort hand transitions to users creating genuinely creative and interesting works that had people going, hey, that's pretty good. Until the top comment on most posts were, how is this cringe? TikTok Cringe now is a community of 1.3 million, and the vast majority of posts tends towards celebrating the work of TikTokers. If you have the appetite for the cringe and want to be physically uncomfortable, there still is TikTok Cringe time. Show your face if someone touches your man. As a cruel twist of fate, like the Oropus eating itself, calling things cringe is now considered cringe in itself. 
On September 18th, the Associated Press reported that then-President Donald J. Trump would ban TikTok downloads on the 20th of September, 2020, followed by a complete ban of using the app on November 12th. We're looking at TikTok. We may be banning TikTok. We may be doing some other things or a couple of options. But a lot of things are happening, so we'll see what happens. But we are looking at a lot of alternatives with respect to TikTok. Mr. President, what kind of alternatives? Uh, I'm out of here. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 And for what reason, you're probably asking? Hang on, let me get this on. There is the allegation that TikTok is actively controlling what kind of content is pushed towards Western kids, rewarding deviant behavior with fake likes and followers, whereas it is pushing wholesome nationalistic propaganda to the children in their own borders. I sat down with some of my friends for their insights. I don't like a button. Algorithms in the app that turn the friggin' children gay. Do you understand that? Serious crap. I'm sick of being social engineered. It's not funny. But the TikTok in America and the TikTok in China for kids is very different. You can't use it after 10 p.m. And TikTok highlights scientific achievements, athletic endeavors, all sorts of different things. In America, it's like crazy gender stuff. Like they're trying to turn people into dullards and as many as they can into, into idiots. <laughs> Fuck, really? Others have gone on to suggest that China released the TikTok and then the virus so that people would get sick and nurses would be too preoccupied making TikToks to treat any patients. <coughs> Nurse, please help me. YouTube doesn't allow content that spreads medical misinformation that contradicts local health authorities or the World Health Organization medical information about COVID-19. This is limited to content that contradicts WHO or local health authorities guidance on treatment, prevention, diagnosis, or the existence of COVID-19. Yeah, I, I know. I'm not saying it. I'm saying other people said it. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Top TikTok users, that was fun to say, include Charlie D'Amelio, Addison Ray, and Bella Porch, who when she does the thing with her face, I feel a slight pressure in the spot just below my tummy. You know the one when she's like, I'm M to the B, M to the B, M, 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 M to the B, M to the B, M to the B, bounce. Hmm, I like that. I, I don't know why, but I like it. It is not just limited to solely internet famous creators, as even Will Smith has his own profile with over 70 million followers. <coughs> memes. In conclusion, is TikTok just a trend all of itself? Or is there a greater cultural impact of this new medium of expression? Right now you can watch kill compilations of Russian soldiers set to Eurobeats right after a life hack on how to squeeze lemons with a straw. Does it even move the needle off the course we've been set on years ago as we stare into the black rectangle in our hands, listlessly and aimlessly shuffling to our eventual demise? <laughs> Will always love you. Oh, it's Whitney Houston. She liked crack too. Oh.